Right, as I'm waiting for some castings for the um, horn plates there, I've decided I'm going to try and do a gear on the drawing. Let's zoom in there. Right, that one there. Is a 13 tooth gear and all the gears on there are going to be 10 diametral pitch that means it's like 10 teeth to the inch right so I've got a blank one and a half inch diameter and also I've got a set of teeth cutters right this one here I don't know if you can see on there this will cut 12 and 13 teeth so I'll use this cutter but it's one of eight this last one here will cut 135 teeth plus or a rack as well and I'm going to use a dividing head on the milling machine and we've got these plates that go on the milling machine to divide the rotation. I'll show you the dividing head. Right this is the dividing head. The plates get attached onto here and then you have a handle with a pin that goes on there and the pin on the handle will line up to one of these holes. Now this has got a gear ratio when you turn the handle of 40 to 1. So if I put a black mark on there it will take me 40 turns to make that turn one whole cycle. So you can't just put one of these plates on and hope to go bosh one two you have to work out if you start there one full turn plus how many holes or if it's a bigger number you won't be doing one full turn so I've made a mandrel to mount my blank on which will go on there in a minute and I've also got this to put the cutter on so what I'll do now is I'll just put that disc onto there and the cutter on there right I've mounted the disc on that arbor and I've mounted the cutter as you can see from above that's the way it'll be turning on the milling machine right the next thing we got to decide what plate we're going to put onto the dividing head right I've got three plates this one I've wrote them down here it goes from 15 to 20 the other one goes 21 to 33 and the last one goes from 37 to 49 so we're going to use as it's dividable by 13 we do the 39 which is this one here look 37 39 and the book that comes with the dividing head 
it's quite easy without doing a lot of maths they've got a booklet here we got 13 teeth the 39 holer and the amount of turns I have to do, which would be three turns and 11 holes. I'll set that up on the uh, dividing head and I'll explain. Right, I've got all this set up. You can see the pins in one hole. So when you do the 13 teeth cutting there in a minute you have to go three full turns and 11 holes so what that is when you come back to there after three you've got uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and that is where you'll put the pin on the handle in there for the second cut so it'll be pull the handle out do three turns one two three and then come down there and put the pin in there and then you cut the tooth slide that around because this is giving you the space and then slide that around to the pin and then it will be the same again so let's set the blank up in here and we'll try what I'll do is I'll just mark the blank first to check that's all right before I set the uh, cutter in motion right I've got the cutter set up on center and what I've done is I've got it so it just scratches the surface. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all the cycle without running the cutter and just scratch the surface just to check it's right. Right. I've done a scratch test and I've gone all the way around and that is definitely 13 teeth equidistant all the way around the circumference of that. So I think I'm going to try and cut some. Where this is too big I need to take the chuck off later on and then get a collet in the dividing net there to give me more room here. So I might only just be able to cut not right the way over or else the cutter will bang into the teeth of the chuck but it will give us a good idea let's get going right I've been round once I know I'm not at the full depth but I think I'm gonna to have to do a bit more research because they reckon that's supposed to be a 13 tooth gear but I reckon that should be more than that But that is definitely 13 teeth around that disc so it was worth a try right well that was a try that is definitely 13 teeth look if you count there one three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13. So I've got that part right, but it's not right. I'm going to have to probably buy some different cutters. But it's nearly there, it was worth a try. Right, I've spent some time having a look what's wrong. It's definitely the cutters. I've got the wrong cutters. I need to buy some 10 DP cutters and that should be right. 
So please subscribe to my channel and join me as I build a two inch Fowler's Showman's Traction Engine.